what's this vitamin K is up in your blood? I, uh, uh, well, you told you, are you eating green vegetables? Well, I told you not to. I, you're on blood thinner. Yeah, don't thin your blood with a vegetable naturally. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's so crazy. Glyphosate's cause, on record, estrogen-related tumors to grow. That's mainline literature for 20 years. You know, they, they make movies about it with uh, George Clooney. And still, they say, why is breast cancer exploding, exploding, exploding? And you look at countries that introduce Roundup, suddenly their breast cancer goes off the chart. Their pancreatic cancer goes off the chart. Their um, prostate cancer goes off the chart. And then everybody just keeps saying, give more money, pink, pink. I'll be at a restaurant. I'll be at the store buying something, buying a water hose. You know, Would you like to give 10% of your bill extra for the, the breast cancer? I'll be at a restaurant. Would you like a pink martini for women's breast cancer? No. They'll look at you unapprovingly. Why don't you care? It's all this guilt culture using our goodwill. And I'll start giving them a speech. I'll go, you know the weed killer is the main cause of the increase of breast cancer. You know I've got daughters and a mother and a grandmother and a wife and all these people that I don't want to die or have their breasts chopped off. Don't act like I don't care with your fake guilt which you've been programmed to shovel on me. And I'm called a terrorist and an extremist because I talk about it. Monsanto has settled for decades of dumping dioxin directly into creeks in a whole subsections of Anniston, Alabama, running directly into the Black's well water. And then the numbers are just off the chart. Basically, everybody dies of cancer. And they knew, and they just dumped it right into the water. After all, it's just a bunch of black people. Do you know how evil Monsanto is, ladies and gentlemen? Their own engineers, CBC, BBC report in 1999, their own people will not eat GMO at their laboratory cafeterias. These people are crazy. They don't care the nuclear reactors are leaking all over the country now. This, no one cares about it. They're nuts. And let me tell you something. If Obama tries a gun registration or, and they start SWAT teaming people that won't register, or they start witch hunts like they're already doing, it's going to cause the patriots to fight back. And then you will have them bill gun owners as terrorists and folks, we're off of the races. And this is the false flag. The Civil War is the false flag. They know that the Patriots are going to completely annihilate the police and military long term. And they know the military is going to go to a fortress mentality, take over the cities. And they got martial law right there, shutting off the rural communities. Here's Obama one more time. Obama claims gun violence off the charts. President ignores drop in gun crime. Applauds Australian gun confiscation. Headline up on Infowars.com. My biggest frustration so far is the fact that uh, this society has not been willing to take some basic steps to, uh, to keep guns out of the hands of uh, you know, people who you know, can, uh, can do just unbelievable damage. We're the only society. We're the only developed country on Earth where this happens, and it, it happens now once a week. And it, it's a one-day story. There's no place else like this. A couple of decades ago, Australia uh, had a mass shooting, mm -hmm. uh, similar to Columbine or, or Newtown, uh, and Australia just said, "Well, that's it." We're not doing. We're not seeing that again, yeah. and uh, basically imposed very severe, tough uh, gun laws, and they've never, they haven't had a mass shooting since. I mean, we, our levels of gun violence are off the charts. There's no 
advanced developed country on earth that would put up with this. My big uh, uh, I mean, how do you analyze? I, I'm skipping the network break. How do you analyze a one minute clip of pure lies like that? People aren't buying it, bud, because the mainstream media is dead. Nietzsche was wrong. God ain't dead. The mainstream media is, just like the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's dead. And you just hadn't figured it out yet. They actually, the Pentagon came out and, and did admit it. They're running CIA PSYOPs now. They're desperate and they, they understand they're, they're done. They want to bring in internet censorship. That's their new big game plan. But they banned everything down to single shots. and You got to have a license for that in rural areas. And they basically have banned, you name it, crime has exploded in Australian cities. Mugging, stabbing, just like they have in England. Their crime rate's up over tenfold. Look it up. You are five times more likely anywhere in England, you can look these numbers up, to be mugged than you are in the United States. London is more dangerous than Chicago to be mugged, stabbed, beat over the head, killed, raped. If you fight back, they prosecute you. I mean, that's famous. They're trying to ban butcher knives now in England and the rest of the UK. Switzerland, everyone has to own guns by law, and they have grenade launchers at local caches in case the country ever gets overrun for the citizens to get. And no one's shooting or having grenade attacks. They have the lowest crime rate in the world. Now mugging is worse in London than in Harlem. London Daily Mail. See, told you. I told you about Anniston, Alabama. And they pulled up the articles and the statistics and the settlements. I mean, I'm not making any of this up. If you're a TV viewer, you can see them in live time. This is not scripted. They search engine everything I say, and there it is, okay? I mean, I don't make stuff up, okay? I don't have time to go in and tell you how the Port Arthur massacre was totally staged with a mind control wind-up toy. Multiple shooters, whole nine yards. I mean, Anderson Cooper's been standing at the CNN Center saying he's in, in, in Sandy Hook and his, face, his nose disappears. It's blue screen. I don't know what went on there, but it's fake. And top school security people that have run major universities and been national, you know, been on Nightline and... And Good Morning America have come out and said, it's fake. Wolfgang Halbig. And he has feds and you name it come to his house and say, stop investigating. You better watch it. Why would they want him to stop investigating if he's a kook? No, he's a German who immigrated here as a child and became an American and loves his country. And is an American. He's not a coward. That, 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 that's who Wolfgang Halbig is. Just a man. And they're scared. And they should be. Because listen, there's a million Wolfgang Halbigs coming. There's a million Alex Joneses coming. There's a million Jakari Jacksons coming. There's a million Telly Blackwoods coming. There's a million Adon Salazar's coming. There's a million Paul Watsons coming. And Ehan Watsons. You're not going to stop us. We want freedom. It's what we're meant to have. You've, you've got to drive our humanity out of us and make us have a death wish so that we give up and don't care about ourselves and don't have any faith in ourselves. I mean, here's the man who runs Chicago, the murder capital of the world. The murder capital country is Mexico. Highest number of murders, look it up, in the world, seven years running, Mexico. But there's no city in Mexico that has upwards of 15 gun deaths a week and 30-plus shootings per weekend like Chicago year-round. <clears throat> and again, it's the poor, controlled sectors of Chicago that run by the Democratic Mafia that have the high crime. You go to places right next door or suburbs where they have guns, the crime rate goes to some of the lowest in the country. Where you have welfare and the government system in Chicago, it'll be hell on earth and a mile away low crime rate. Because there's law-abiding people, good people there, and they have guns illegally. And five years ago, the Supreme Court ordered them to let the citizens be armed, and they've not allowed them to be armed in Chicago lawlessly, just like they're lawlessly opening the borders up. And the media is going, jeepers, creepers, why on earth? You know, are there hundreds of thousands of illegals a month pouring in now and military bases full of them? Because they legalize them when they get here and give them welfare. And Obama's advertised that. And the country's collapsing. There's 7 million people trying to get here.
No country in history, and by the way, libertarians, I'm a real libertarian, okay, constitutionalist, and I'm going to our guest. But libertarians send me emails, and I see, you know, uh, Reason and others go, Alex Jones and people want statist borders, you know, but what don't thought you don't like the police state? Why do you want a border then? Because if we didn't have welfare in this country, and you couldn't come here and have your baby for free that's $30,000, and it wasn't advertised in Mexican newspapers by U.S. hospitals 20 years ago, still going. It's in the news today. Come here and have your baby for free. Put your kid on a plane. If they get off, they'll give them a lawyer. They're legal. You can't say, oh, we're going to be wide open and free when you're surrounded by unfree, failed countries. Mexico is a failed state. You can't even go to Cancun safely now. There's a State Department warning on it. They can't even keep the rich tourist districts owned by the narcotics trafficking government safe. And the new bureaucrat class for the military and social services is going to be illegal aliens. That's in the Washington Times. They're now making them police officers, sheriff's deputies, military. That's the main minority force. My minority force, it's all minorities. By minorities, white, whatever. It's all subgroups in the military. But the largest one group, none of them are a majority, is illegals that were legalized into the U.S. military. This is globalism. We're being conquered. It has nothing to do with the fact that Latinos are coming into this country. That's the majority. That's just because that's the failed third world south of us, and we're now being failed as our power plants are turned off, as the taxes are raised, as the small businesses are shut down. The plan is to implode the country. But we can fight back, ladies and gentlemen. And that's why they're panicking. The blue blood, evil Republican leadership that helped write Obamacare as a giant scam to cheat and raise payroll taxes on poor people and set up death panels. House Majority Leader Cantor defeated in primary by Libertarian Tea Party candidate. Now, we've got her for the balance of the hour. I really appreciate her coming on, shifting gears into a whole other subject. But it's on the issue of taking action and winning is our guest, Vanny Hari, foodbabe.com, who you've seen all over national television. Very lovely, super smart lady. And she's launched a lot of initiatives. The most recent was, well, I'll let her tell you about it. Now she's launching another one with hopefully great success like the other initiatives. And it's a blueprint for all of us to have victory over our food supply, our water, and have the right to have access to things free from toxic chemicals, mind and body bending systems. So tell us what's coming up in the next long segment. Uh, thank you so much for coming on and we salute your work. Thank you so much, Alex, for, for having me join. You know, I launched the subway petition here a few months ago and won that within 24 hours. Now, I think this petition is going to be a longer fight because I am talking about secrets that have been held for decades from the beer industry. The beer industry right now is not allowed are not required rather to disclose the ingredients in beer. However, the government allows a long list of controversial additives in beer. And so this secrecy and this mystery has to end. The fact that nobody has held these companies accountable in recent years, I think is a big issue. And I think that as you know, 4th of July comes up and everybody goes around the, uh, the grills and starts celebrating the holiday and starts throwing back Miller Light and Bud Light and Miller Coors and Anheuser-Busch brands, I think people need to realize they have no idea what they're drinking. We've been blindly drinking beer and not knowing what these companies are putting in our beer. And some of the things I've found out are downright shocking. Well, they use it for social control. And Anheuser-Busch isn't even beer. For about 15 years, it's actually a chemical syrup. So folks need to understand, the reason I don't ever drink American beer now, unless it's from a microbrewery, is because it's not beer. You drink German or Mexican because they follow the old uh, brewmaster things of England and Germany. And, and so I'm sure you're the big expert. Tell us about it when we come back. But this is the secrets of beer. Would you call it the beer conspiracy or fake beer conspiracy? I think it's like the big beer cover-up, you know? The big beer cover-up. Bingo. We're, dr we're drinking in the dark. Yeah, well, all I know is when they changed the Budweiser recipe when I was in college, I got headaches when I drank it. And then I went and looked it up a while back, and oh, guess what? It's not Budweiser. All right, we'll be right back, folks. Stay with us. I mean, they're just jacking with everything. Stay with us. We're on the march.